Enchanté. We made it. <laughs> I take tips. <laughs> Check out the hotel room. It ain't nothing fancy, but it's a hotel room. Two beds. His name's Corey. Shout out Corey. Um, the like lobby attendant dude. I asked him if there were any trails because uh, my friend that I came with, she sleep. She drove most of the way. So shout out her. Um, it's nice being a little passenger princess. <laughs> Dogwood walking trail. Is this a dog house? Wow. They weren't joking when they said pet friendly. Yo, y'all, I'm low-key getting a little lost. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Why are you running? <laughs> okay, so this is where it's cut off. This just leads to there. And this leads to up there. Come sit on this stoop with me. As I tell you a story. <sighs> so, if you're wondering as to how... It is, I got here, we're, we're in, I'm in Ash, Asheville. I'm in Asheville right now. And then I'm gonna be in Tennessee in a few days. Um, so if you're wondering how I got here, um, my friend hit me and was like, hey, come. All expenses paid, trip. I said, all right. She's like, all you gotta do is, you know, be here. I was like, all right, bet. Life, life is crazy. Life is crazy and kooky and I hear people coming. Ah. I hear something. I hear something, y'all. Let me. Let me get up. Let me get up and dip. Let me get up. Let me move sites. Because. Y'all not gonna get me out here. What y'all not gonna do? It's really nice. This is a nice little trail. If I were a dog, I'd be so happy on this trail. I'd be like, <sighs> there's a shed. That one. Oh, shit. I'm at like 7%. Okay, really fast. There's a shed. When I was like, uh, my childhood, when I was like, um, younger, I used to play Manhunt. I think it was Manhunt. No, it wasn't Manhunt. I don't remember what the game was called, but we each had to like, there were teams, okay? There were people, the seekers and the hiders or whatever, right? And so your goal was to get to a post, like a, a goal, like a place and like, um, when I played with my other like childhood friends when I was younger in my adolescence I guess I'm still kind of in my youth now but no yeah adolescence that works that was the goal to hit to hit the um shed or a tree or something else there were like three different places you could hit right and I only I think I only won once the one time I won though it felt so good it felt so good to like not I when I tell you no one like I literally had no interaction with any people the hunters like i was literally on my own and i didn't get caught like i didn't have to run or anything like i just i literally i hit the shed and i was like yeah yeah what what you know and then it's cool to just be like you know everyone like comes over or they got tagged or whatever and they all come to like the the goal points at the end and you, you know you're just leaning against the shed like i was just i don't need trees okay i was just Everybody, I was just leaning up against the shed. I was like, huh, you guys, uh, took your time getting here. Me? 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 I've been here, uh, a while, actually. <laughs> and then everybody's like, how did she get there? She cheated. And I'm like, cheaters never prosper. And what did I do? Prosper. What's that mean? I ain't cheat. <laughs> Bye, trail. Wow. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. It's been nice entertaining you. Okay. Oh, shit, wait. Oh, no, you can go this way. There's two ways. There's that way. Oh, my gosh, guys. Yesterday, I was at Applebee's. Okay, wait. I actually need to be here to be able to explain this. Okay, so I went to I went to Applebee's. No. Texas Roadhouse because I was with my guy friend and my other um, friend. And so my guy friend went in, and I had to pee, so I went in there. 
um, we were just dropping him off because he had a dinner. So I was like, where's the bathroom to a, like a server, right? A waitress. She's like, oh, you see where it says outhouse? Right over there. So, okay, outhouse. It says like, so we'll, we'll say it's like, wait, we'll say it's over here for the sake of whatever, right? And there's like outhouse and neon, right? But basically she was like, outhouse is like over there, okay? I'm, I'm placing you in the atmosphere, in, in Texas Roadhouse, okay? The server's like, she's a little shorter than me. She's like, yeah, you see it right over there. And I'm like, oh yeah, right over there, okay. And so there's two routes you could take. There's like a little barway. So we'll say that this is a little barway. It's a little barway. And then, or you could go this way, right? So you go and you're like, oh, this looks cut off. I'm not gonna go this way. So I, let's just say, I started walking toward the bar area, right? Um, because it looked like you could go there, but then you go, you get closer and you're like, you know what, actually, I think this is cut off. I don't think you can go this way. And so I took a single step back. I went like this. I took a single step back, guys. A single step back. A single step back. And I bumped into a waitress that had food in her hand. R rolls. Like, it wasn't like a gourmet. Like, it wasn't like the main entree. It was definitely like an appetizer. So, it, like, if that, like, brings brings it down a little bit. But she drops them. Like, I turn around. Like, I backed into her. And then I heard. I, like, I was like, what? And I turn. And then. And then she's like. Like this. Like and frozen just looking up at me i was just like oh, i'm sorry i don't even remember how i said it but i was like i'm sorry like i'm sorry like i'm so sorry like i'm sorry and i was just sitting there like <laughs> you know i wasn't actually doing that i was but i wasn't but i was internally i was like should i just cry in the bathroom should i just stay in this bathroom forever bear crossing oh my gosh if i saw some bears if i saw some bears i would if i if i saw some bears <laughs> if i saw some bears i would get it you would you would like run you get, i would i would run i said i was i was trying on my hiking shoes in walmart and i was like trying them on and um what should i call it I was trying them on and I was like, like I was like hopping in them. I was like practicing like I was jump roping and then I was like going like, and then I like ran a little bit. <laughs> Cause you know, when you young, that's what your parents tell you to do. He'd be like, all right, all right, hop, go ahead and hop the fence around back. And I saw a fence before we came into the store. Go ahead. They're fine. I told, I told the person that's helping us. They're not going to think you still like, yeah, hop over the fence and then. So you get to see the versatility of the shoe, you know, and then run back in and then through you running, you'll be able to tell whether or not the shoes fit you. And I'm like, no, these are, these are too big. And then, you know, they do that thing where they're like, let me see. And then they like search for your toe in the shoe. And they're like, you, but you want to have a little room though, but you want to have a little room barely, but you want to have a little room. And I'm like, don't tell me how my shoe fits on me, you know? What, tell me why, like, there was like a 30 buck one and then like a 20 one, like a $20 one. The $20 one, only like size 10 and 12. I was like, what the heck? And I was like, boy, oh boy, wouldn't it be convenient to be Bigfoot right now? Like, what the heck? Dogwood walking trail. Dedication date, April 1st, 2013. 20, oh, 2013, that's 10 years, 10 years ago on april 1st imagine imagine making a trail and telling everyone that there's a trail on april 1st no one's gonna go on it no one's gonna believe you and imagine going on the trail and something happening to you and you're like yeah i took my dog on dogwood walking trail and something bad happened to me and it's april 1st they're gonna be like okay buddy Go ahead and go ahead and try and pull an April Fool's joke on somebody else because you're not gonna get me because I'm not the guy. <laughs> like, tell me I'm fucking wrong. Like I'm not. Like April first, that was the day you decided to do that. April first, and then, like imagine putting out flyers. Like I, if I saw a flyer, I wouldn't take it seriously. I'd be like, if I saw a flyer, I wouldn't take it seriously. Oh, fucking up. If I saw a flyer, I wouldn't take it seriously. I would literally be like, oh, they're pranking us. 
be like, yeah, okay, a dog trail called Dogwood Park. How original, yeah. But no, there, there's an actual, oh, there's an actual trail. So. I bet you guys are all wondering why you're here. <laughs> you guys are an amazing staff, amazing people, and Merry Christmas. Look under your seats. I know, I know, I'm pulling an Oprah. Look under your seats. Okay, I'm gonna stop in case I'm getting embarrassed. <laughs> Christmas Eve, Shenanies. What are we gonna do? Um, we're gonna go try to see Christmas lights at Mount Ford, Asheville. Ooh. What? It's public. Oh, it is? Yeah. Dad, yeah, let's take photos. Got a ladder going all the way up there. Santa will be able to get into this house easy. Oh, did I not bring my bag? Oh, shit, it's at the end. You must have dropped it on the ground. We gotta go back. Dropped it on the ground? Yeah, you left it there. Quick photo. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, let's go. <laughs> back to get my bag. 90210. The Biltmore. We are at. I don't know why I talked like Yoda there, but yeah. There was an option. You could walk or take a shuttle. And she chose the walk option. We'll see more. <laughs> These are very pretty. This is dead, but like, look at how cool this pod is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? This look like some Aztec type shit. What? The winery. <laughs> look at look at how neat her bed is <laughs> and then look at how neat my bed is <laughs> yeah i was really searching for my gopro you have no idea this is our podcast uh -huh. called you don't remember what's called no. you know the camera can see you right <laughs> you like whispered to me like <laughs> as if they couldn't see us that's okay but i'm just i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's called R.I.P. Winnie, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That was a good one. Winnie was the name? No, Dixie. Okay, R.I.P. Dixie. See? Um, it so. Was Dixie. There was this bench. <laughs> Tennessee! Are you from Tennessee? Yeah, Tennessee. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can fucking run. What the fuck? This is the room, okay? This is the card, okay? Look. Listen. 
And I'm like, maybe I'm not, maybe this isn't the right room, but it is. What the fuck, bro? Um, I'm just going to a smoke shop and then, um, I can't think of the name of it, but it's basically where Percy Jackson, um, you know, he battled that, uh, what you call it? That monster, and then he cut off all of its heads, and then the girl was like, why did you do that? Did you know that when you cut off one head, two grow in its place? That scene. Oh, she's calling me. This, apparently, there's a replica in Greece. The only difference is this originally, it was like made out of like wood and something else because originally it was only supposed to be temporary, but then they decided to not make it temporary. So yeah, we made it. And people say I'm not a history buff, but you know, you're not allowed inside because it's too fragile. So that's interesting because how did Percy Jackson and them film in there, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it's too fragile, you can't go in there. Uh, but what about for 30K? Uh, you know, how long are you guys gonna be in there? 10 minutes? It's not that fragile. Oh, look, tourists. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we're all tourists here. This is the most touristy place you could go, I imagine, but. Whenever I see buildings like this, it makes me think of Assassin's Creed, you know? So yeah, but um, do you guys know exactly what scene from Percy Jackson and Lightning Thief that I'm talking about? Like, do you know what scene I'm talking about? The scene where, um, Percy, like, cut off all the heads and then What's-Her-Face was like, Don't you know? <laughs> Didn't you know, dummy? If you cut off one head, two pops up in its place. And then, and then Percy used, uh, Medusa's head to, uh, to freeze him to stone. You guys remember that? To turn him to stone? Oh my gosh, what a throwback. That was like... What was your favorite scene in Percy Jackson and Lightning Thief? Tell me right now in the comments below what, your, what was your favorite scene. And if you haven't seen it, drop that in the comments, whether or not you've seen it and what your favorite uh, scene is, because I'm dying to know. Mine is probably, um, I have to brew on that. Hey, what's your favorite, um, what's your favorite scene from Percy Jackson? I haven't seen it in for long. I don't okay, know. yeah, you don't know. To be honest, I just remember them probably like the Medusa stuff. The was, Medusa stuff. Yeah, like that's the that's the best I got. The Medusa stuff. Hmm. Not a real fan. I get it. Never read the book. I think actually, <laughs> I didn't write. I didn't read the books either. I think actually, uh, my scene is before they even take the journey. Before they even take like the the hero's journey, I I like it when they they're playing like capture the flag or whatever the fuck, and um, she um, what what's his face? Percy uh, which I'm gonna call it. He um, you know he like he's all wounded and then he and then he gets the he gets he hears the voice of his dad and he's like go Percy to the river. Go to the water, Percy. And then he like goes and then he like touches it and then it like heals him. And then he's like super strong and he's fighting like 50 different soldiers at once. And it's like, not 50, it definitely wasn't 50, but it was, that was so sick. You know, they're making this, you're, they're making a series. They're, they're remaking, um, they're remaking it. I'm not mad at it. I'm interested to see what they're gonna do with it. Um, but yeah, this, this piece of land is like really big. It's pretty huge. So yeah, my my grandma is like a huge history buff and she's gone to Greece a few times and she loves Greece. So it'll be nice to tell her that I, I went to this and be like, yeah, I went to that and then tell her facts and then she'll tell me facts. I do these things so I can bond with my gram gram, with my grams. I've been really wanting to play like kickball. I do like a uh, slip and slide slip and slide right yeah. now not right now and in general like i want oh, okay. like a day of like outdoor activity we're at the farmer's market some rugs up here oh this is on that's hilarious i'm cracking up 
What up, y'all? Watching my in. What's up? What's up? My in. Yeah, that's all I got. We about to drive back. It's cool. It's, I had a good time. Kaylee, you have a good time? Huh? You have a good time? Yeah. I'll scale one to ten. Ten to ten. Ah, okay. Okay, period. Yeah. You know, if you're traveling with me, you're going to have a good time. A 10 out of 10. It makes sense that it's a 10 out of 10 because we in 10. I see. Hear me. <laughs> All right, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Good vibes. Cool people. Almost everybody we interacted with, pretty pretty dope people. They got some got some heart of golds out here. A lot of people like Dolly Parton out here. A lot of Dolly Parton merch. Um, and something else that I that I noticed, um, there was a recycle, compost, and like landfill bin, which is crazy that they called it landfill and not trash. But like, it's very like yeah all of your trash goes to a landfill. So it's like interesting that they labeled it as landfill. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's all, that's all I got for real. I mean, you know, shout out to all the people that hung out with me. Um, yeah. Oh, I thrifted a shirt, but I packed it. Something about me, you give me some free time. What am I gonna do with it? Go to a park. Here we are. At a park, E.S. Rose Park, to be exact. Got a whole field. Hello. They be having, they be having games over here. Over here. Am I really about to walk this whole track? <laughs> my dad, <laughs> my brother used to play football, right? And so, uh, there's a, there's a time where I think, like they needed a coach or something. So my dad stepped in. I guess he has experience. I don't know. I guess I feel like all men could coach. I don't know. That's not that's not true. That's not true. But anyway, but yeah, so he was a coach. Um, how is he qualified? I don't know. This man is, is secretly qualified for like 50 different things I don't know about. He used to be a fucking landlord and he was telling me one time, I was like, You used to be a landlord? What the heck? Sometimes we just randomly like give me lore to him in his life. And I'm like, yo, who who are you? No, who were you? Like what? Before you my GoPro cut off. I don't know. I don't know everything that it kept. Like I don't know all of all of what was kept. But anyway, so the story I was saying, or the story I was getting to, was so my brother played football, and I was always at his games and practices because you know I'm a little sister. Not even it's silly to show support just because that's what everybody was doing, and I was already in the car, and they're like, oh well, we're gonna go here. You're gonna be stuck here, you know. So. Um, I was just along for the ride, per usual. Um, and so my my dad was a coach, cause I guess they needed an extra coach or something. And so there was this. I used to, <laughs> I used to I used to walk. This is one time I needed him, and I walked onto the field, cause I needed something from him. And he my dad, so I, I like I like strutted onto the field like this. I like walked onto the field, and I went to go talk to him. And I think I did it like three times. And my dad was like, you can't, you can't be doing that. You can't, you can't just be walking on the field. You can't be doing that. And I was like, why not? You my daddy, why not? What? You can't tell me no. You can't tell your youngest only daughter no, what? People always ask me, you play sports, you play sports? No. Why do you think that I'm someone who plays sports? Look at me. Look at me. I look like somebody who plays sports. I look like somebody must work. I don't think so. But uh I wanted to do track and field, but like I don't think I was good nor fast enough, you know? And you can train yourself, but like around the time I could have gotten to track and field, I was smoking and shit. So like I just went down a different path, you know? Oh, somebody was playing fetch. Look, you can tell cause I, I kinda had an interest in soccer when I was young, but like I never like I remember I told my mom I wanted to do soccer. She'd be like, you, you always, you always, you get too tired too fast. No way you can do soccer. You're going to get too tired. And I was like, you don't know. But yeah, people ask me if I do sports. The only sports I've ever um, done for real would be like uh, 
ballet when I was like real young. I like couldn't even tell you. And I, I guess I was good, but I don't really know. I, for the most part, I just, to tell you the truth, I never memorized the dance moves. I just looked at what everybody else was doing and just copied them. And um, this one girl, my nemesis, <laughs> she wasn't really my nemesis, y'all. If I were to see her, I'd be like, oh my gosh, hi, how are you? Like, I would be like, oh my gosh, aren't you in like, like, what are you doing here? Like, if we were to ever bump into each other, it would be so weird. I, so I would have to say something because what are you doing here? But anyway, um, she was like, yeah, Nat, like, you're so good. You're like the best out of, out of everybody. You were in the front of the class, which I guess apparently means something. And I, like, she always said that. And that's how I knew she was my friend of me because she didn't even know. Because she was like, yeah, you were so good. Like, why did you quit? Like, why did you stop? Oh my gosh, guys, guys. She get like a crowd. Guys, she was so good. She was like the best. She was at the front of the class. Why did you quit? Oh my gosh, you were so good. And I was just like, get out of my face. Like, oh, like I was always sore. And I was just like, I just like used to like, just the uh, the build of having to go to the dance class was just, I hated it. Like, I remember this one time I was so sore and I was like, mom, like I'm done. And she was like, no, like try it for another week or whatever. And I was like, no, like I'm done. But then I got into middle school and, but yeah, that's how I knew she was my friend of me. Cause she was like, oh my gosh, you were so good. But like, no, I wasn't. I literally didn't have anything memorized. Come recital time, I was, I was dropping the fucking ball. But anyway, um, but it didn't matter because like being good doesn't really matter at that age when you're young doing dance. It matters when you're in like middle school and stuff. So middle school came along and I had this one girl who I was like cool with and she like had like this dance squad or whatever. And I was like, oh crap. Like I had no idea that like beat like ballet and stuff could prosper forward past elementary. So like to see people in middle school and stuff in high school, like still doing dance and stuff. I was like, whoa, like that's so crazy. That could have been me, you know? And I'm kind of glad I didn't do it, though. <laughs> on, on, on everything, like, I'm glad. Because um, I've seen Dance Academy. I've seen Dance Academy, y'all. It's a good show. I recommend. Um, drama. Dramatic, though. Um, oh, my gosh. Dance Academy was so dramatic, guys. Oh, my gosh. It's so nice to just be here just talking. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people, won't you listen to me? Oh my gosh, and when I did ballet, they like merged the classes, like, it was like, you were like a runt, right? And it, they they uh, merged you with like the bigger girls, like the, the grown girls. And that was always so intimidating. I was always so intimidated. I was never like, oh my gosh. I was never like happy. I was always super intimidated. And it was cool, cause we got ice cream and stuff after, like the old school ice cream that came with like the stick. But like, I didn't like, I always hated like, cause we had to perform for each other. That was always so scary, bro. Oh my gosh, that was so scary and intimidating, bro. Like, I don't think there's ever been a more scary, intimidating moment than that. But look, since we sharing, I'm gonna tell you another time where I felt very intimidated and vulnerable. There's one time, it was summer camp and uh, I really am walking this track, y'all. I'm on the other side. I started over there, started over there. So, oh my gosh. In freaking middle school, bro, as a warm-up, when we got out, we had to run the track. We had to run the track once. That was our warm-up. Ain't that crazy? Anyway, that she was a good gym teacher, though. Shout out Miss Grant. But anyway, this one time in summer camp, right? It was, um, this is Hurdle. This is Hurdle. I want to jump. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me take all my shit off. I want to jump this Hurdle, guys. It's a really, it's a really low Hurdle, but, you know... Maybe I should have warmed up, you know? Maybe I should have... I jumped it. <laughs> At first, I was like, oh, shit. So, um, this is, um, you jump the hurdle, but, like, you land. Like, you... Because there's sand here, but it's covered. But, uh... <laughs> Bro, you just got a sneak peek of what my track and field days would have looked like if I, if I did that shit in high school. Every And they would have made fun of me, too. Every time I hopped, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> in summer camp in summer camp um whew, me after I ran that track in middle school <sighs> but um my brother used to do track too my brother used to do all the sports my brother was a sport kid 
and I was a burnout. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> but anyway, um, in summer camp, I um, it was like the last day of summer camp or something like that, and it was like slip and slide. We could do the slip and slide, and I had a bathing suit. I had a one piece on, but I was like younger, and like not young. I was like young, but old enough to be insecure. Does that make sense? To be mindful of like my insecurities and stuff. And so, and wanting to fit in and wanting to be cool, if that makes sense. Like I couldn't tell you how old I was, but old enough to know that that shit existed and it very, it highly impacted me in that moment. And so everybody was like doing the slip and slide and I really wanted to do the slip and slide, but I didn't want any of the girls to see me in my bathing suit. Cause I just felt really insecure. I don't even know why I couldn't, I literally could not tell you why I felt that way, but I just felt that way. And I felt it so strongly to the point where I kept my clothes on and I still did the slip and slide, but I like kept my clothes on, which is so funny because if you really think about it, <laughs> keeping your clothes on and doing a slip and slide is way weirder and more like stand out than like just having the regular bathing suit invented mulch to cushion someone's fall why 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 was mulch the solution why was it that whoever whoever said mulch no one stopped them because it's in like every playground now what why did we let that slide why the person that said mulch yeah and this is what it's made out of tan bark tan bark and mulch yes tan bark yes why why did we let them get away with it why did no one why did everyone sign off on that? Like, yes, brilliant. Like, were we not reading the, the summary? Were we not reading the statistic? The, Cause you, you know, you, you fall on some mulch, you, you, you get splinters and I've had, you know, I've had my, my hardcore recess days and you fall on some mulch and you know, the mulch is supposed to, you know, the mulch and the tan bar is supposed to kind of cushion your fall, but like you also have to deal with the tan bark, you know, do y'all get what I'm saying? Who who the fuck let that tan bark shit slide? Anyway. Um. But yeah. How's y'all day going? Like, what, what are you, what's up with y'all? Like, what? how was your Christmas? What are y'all doing for New Year's? You think love is black and white? You know, these, these are the questions. That's all I got. I mean, yeah. Damn. Damn, the whole squad pulled up. Damn. The whole squad pulled up. What is they doing? Is there a little party going on? What's going on? Everybody, oh, this is a school. Okay. This is a little school thing going on, I think. I'm trying to be nosy, but. I'm playing. I just did that to be OD. Um, oh, she got a little, um, she got a wreath on the front of her car. I don't know if you can see it. I pointed it with my toothpick. It's right there. Yeah. One, two, three. Three cars. Ooh. Yeah, there's a, there's a little, there's a little school thing going on right now. Yeah, everybody know each other. Everybody waving at each other. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to um, look look like uh, which one color stick out like a sore thumb or nothing. But all right, I'm gonna go. Bye, y'all.